have so many articles on Series Eats about how to buy cast iron, how to season cast iron, how to cook with and maintain and clean cast iron, but there's still a lot of confusion out there about what seasoning really is and how you season your pans. Seasoning is not grease. It is not a greasy pan that you refuse to wash because you think the, the nasty, old bacon drippings from a week ago are somehow <laughs> making that pan better. They're not. Seasoning is also not flavor. The idea is not that you are adding and building flavor in the pan that then passes itself along to subsequent dishes later. That is not what seasoning is when we're talking about cast iron and carbon steel. Seasoning is this cladding of polymerized oil. It is dry to the touch. If I rub my hand on this pan, it doesn't come up with any grease. It can be really hard to kind of get one's mind around seasoning because most of the time when we buy our cast iron like this lodge pan here, it comes pre-seasoned. And so it's hard to understand what's really going on with the seasoning. And so what I have here to try to explain it better are some carbon steel pans here and here. Carbon steel behaves a lot like cast iron. They're very similar, but most of the manufacturers who make carbon steel ship it without the seasoning instead of with. This carbon steel pan has never been seasoned. This is pretty close to what your cast iron pan looks like before the seasoning has ever been put on it. This is the same carbon steel pan with several layers of seasoning on it. If it's a pan that comes pre-seasoned, you don't really have to do much. You can just keep using it fry some chicken in it, saute in it, sear some steaks in it. You'll keep maintaining and building up that seasoning. If it's a pan like this that comes unseasoned, you'll need to start from scratch to build up the seasoning. So I have the pan here. I'm gonna heat it up and I'm gonna rub the oil all over this pan, inside and outside, because cast iron's got no protective nothing on any part of it. I'm gonna do the handle too. And I'm going to buff it out so thoroughly that it almost looks dry. If you're wondering, is this too much oil? I guarantee you it's too much oil. If you, yeah, if there's even the, uh, the lingering question in your mind, is this too much oil? You, you gotta buff it more. If you put even a slightly excessive application of oil on the pan, you're gonna notice all these tiny little beads where the oil has beaded up. These little islands, these little specks of darkness. Get it all inside all outside, get the handle. So now I'm gonna buff it out. So one of the ways you know that your application of oil has transitioned into the polymer and therefore seasoning phase is that the smoke kind of dies down and stops happening. If you're doing a lot of layers of seasoning, it's easier, it's less smoky, and you get more even heat if you do it in the oven. Hot oven, 425, 450 degrees. Leave the pan in there for a good 30 minutes. Take it out, put the next coat of oil on, buff it, back in, out, in, out. This 450 degree oven, we put the pan in there. Some people put trays under it to catch dripping grease, but if you buff the pan properly, there is no dripping grease. There's nothing to catch. So that's really the key is buff that pan so it looks like it's dried. That's the secret. Here we have the carbon steel pans, and I want to point out an important thing. When the carbon steel is shipped, if it's not pre-seasoned, as this one is not, it's shipped with a protective coating on the metal to prevent it from rusting in transit, in storage, on the store shelves, it would otherwise rust. And so you, before you start seasoning this pan, you've got to get that protective coating off. A lot of times all you have to do is boil some water in it and then wash the pan. That's what I'm going to do with this one. Okay, I'm preheating both of these now to make applying the oil easier. This one I wanna make sure is also bone dry before I get to any oil applications. I need to be a little bit attentive now because this pan no longer has its protective coating. And if I were to let it sit for a while without proceeding with the seasoning process, it could start to rust on me. After I get them started, I'm gonna do them in the oven because this one needs a full seasoning job or at least a good start. This one needs some more coats. And pay attention, we might start to see some color changes pretty quickly. Oh yeah, see what's happening here? It's 
changing seasoning. The first cast iron pan that I put in has been in for a while. I'm pretty sure the oil that I've rubbed on it has set and polymerized. So I'm gonna take it out, I'll do the next coat and put it back in. Here we go. It looks dry. It looks like it looks when you buy it at the store. That's all you want. You rub it on and you'll see that shine reappear. Flip it, buff it again, back in the oven. Let's get out the carbon steels. This is the one that, oop, this is the one that's already been seasoned a bit. Check out, this is our from scratch pan with its first layer of seasoning set on it. And you can even see there's some little streaks of unevenness. That is not a problem. There's nothing on a functional level wrong with that. And as the seasoning builds up, you'll notice those differences less and less as the seasoning in general just gets darker throughout.